In a bid to fight corruption and develop Nigeria's maritime sector, the Maritime Academy of Nigeria has been able to save about 1.8 billion naira in two years. Contrary to degrading reports of fraud and corruption, Rector of the Institute, Mr. Duja Efedua, insists these monies are being used to reorganize and upgrade the institution to meet international standards. We have details of the rector's giving an account of his stewardship in this report. Globally, Nigeria is seen as a reputable maritime nation with over 8,000 kilometers of navigable inland and coastal channels. Despite the huge contribution of shipping to global trade, Nigeria's maritime industry has been on a downturn twirl since the early 1990s. But one institution of the federal government saddled with the responsibility of training personnel required for the effective and efficient operation of all facets of the Nigerian maritime industry is the Maritime Academy of Nigeria. Since its establishment in 1979, the Academy is set to be undergoing structural and infrastructural changes under the three-year leadership of its rector, Duja Efedua. They just want me out. They are afraid. According to the rector, the Academy is now involving and has embarked on various programs, initiatives and projects. Changes from a rector's and administrators could not achieve in 42 years. Show the camera the uh, petition. Addressing a news conference in Lagos, the rector explains the implication of corruption and fraud perpetrated by persons he refers to as cabals on the development of the institution. I feel sorry for the next person going to take over from me because this cabal, they are still there. And they will never give up because they've tasted money before in that academy and they think it must continue. The government does not give money to MDAs to share to people. If they need money, as it's this program, as it's poverty alleviation program, they should apply. People will consider them. 70, 80 percent of the money that comes to the academy is either shared or looted out or siphoned through fake contracts. That's why the see me as a stumbling block. They've held meetings. This guy has to leave. Between 2017 and 2018, over 6,000 petitions have been written against the current leadership. The latest is coming from one Mr. Adamu Jibrin, a former staff, now turned whistleblower. Reports by some online newspapers surfaced weeks ago asking the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission to investigate and prosecute the management of the institution of allegations of fraud and corruption. While the reports are read in the open, the institution's management is yet to be called for questioning. I've never seen a place where you write petitions to anti graft agencies, then they will all surface online. Are you telling me the EFCC doing that? The answer is no. So what that Jubrin was doing, because he's a professional blackmailer, and that's what he has been doing before. The petitioner alleges that millions of Naira have been siphoned out from the treasury of the institution. These claims have, however, been refuted. The rector reads one of the many threatening messages received by anonymous persons. According to him, corruption is fighting back. And I challenge them to a TV debate. Anybody who thinks they don't hide under the mask of internet to be public publicizing about publishing rubbish. As soon as Jusun resumes, you will see fireworks. Based on correspondences received and served to Mr. Gibrin in November last year, the whistleblower stated that he had no intentions of blackmailing the rector, but all he wanted was some sort of assistance from the rector. While he has since been sacked in December, the management of the institution is challenging the whistleblower and the so-called cabals to present evidences with their claims. That's my solicitor. 